Eric Trump calls me in his office and he said, close the door. And I was like, okay, who are we talking about? You know, getting ready to talk about. And he is very serious. And he looks at me and he says, you know, Lynn, we know what you're doing and you're better than this. And immediately, Sage, the addict in me was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I denied it and denied it and denied it. I said, I've never, I haven't touched cocaine in years. I don't know who would tell you that. And meanwhile, my brain is like, who freaking told them this? And I know exactly who it was. And I'm just getting angry. And I'm like, and then as I'm lying to his face, I look up and he's crying, you know? And then I just lost it. At that point, I was like, I started crying. Uh, Laura Trump was on the phone. Um, you know, she told me how much she loved me. He told me how much he loved me. Um, you know, he was basically like, you're a sister to us. We want to make sure that you get the help that you need to get through this. Um, his brother and sister were also extremely supportive about this. Um, you know, never in a million years. Um, they got my parents on the phone. It was it was a genuine intervention. Um, and I I know this might sound uh, sort of uh, extreme, but um, it's not even hyperbole. I, I believe with all my heart that they saved my life because a few years later, my dealer was arrested for fentanyl laced cocaine that had killed three people in Manhattan. Oh, and I look at the cover of the New York Post and there he is being perp walked. And I was just like, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda. I mean, that could have and should have been me um, if they had not intervened and, and told me that they were going to stand by me and that I was, I was worth um, saving and that I should recognize that I was worth saving myself. Um, and, you know, I think that brought us so much closer than any job ever could. Um, I owe them everything. And that's why you'll never see me leave this family. Uh, whether he was president of the United States, whether he was uh, a CEO, um, they've done so much for me. And as Democrat as my parents are, they love them for this. Mm. They love them for bringing me back to myself, for, for getting me uh, off this drug. Um, I haven't touched it since. Um, you know, for making sure that uh, they also gave me a chance. You know, it wasn't long after that that he came down the escalator. And, uh, you know, when he won the presidency, I didn't have the heart to tell the kids that, wow, part of me wants to go to D.C. because this is like the chance of a lifetime. You know, when will you ever get a chance to work for a president of the United States? So I was, I remember trying to psych myself up to tell Eric, Don, and Ivanka that I was going to try to, I wanted to go maybe work for their father. And they famously went to club, the 21 club to celebrate his victory. And I'll never forget waking up the next morning to a text from Eric Trump that said, I wish you had just told me and been honest with me. And I was like, what's he talking about? <laughs> well, it turns out, I guess their dad had said that I was one of the people he wanted to take with him to DDC. Um, and they thought I had approached him about wanting a job and I never had, I didn't, I, w I didn't have the balls yet to do that. And so I was humbled and completely floored that the president on his own had decided that I was one of the folks wow. that he wanted to take to DC with him. And so, um, and you were able to explain that to Eric. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. I finally was able to explain it to him that. I, I genuinely didn't know what you were talking about. I would never have asked him to do that without running, without talking to you first and being honest with you. Um, and he's like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm proud. You know, he's like, I would never stand in the way of you going to DC and, and doing that. So, um, you know, more power to you. And obviously uh, working for his father directly as I have since 2016, uh, has also been the honor of a lifetime. And he, you know, 
it's funny because the father's, uh, President Trump is constantly like, so which one of my kids do you like the best? You know? <laughs> He's like, I think I know, but I'm not going to say.